dear Libra, this is a love reading, a prediction for the month of July with me, Queen of Cups Tarot. And I uh, hope you like the new Cancer display to celebrate Cancer's birthday, birthday month. As an extended member to this channel, you will get these readings ahead of time and with no ads. And there's an all signs reading up, the message I don't want to hear but needs to hear for the full members to this channel. And the steps to move myself into a loving relationship is up for all the members where we reveal what message that comes through from the divine. Subscribe and then check out the many perks through the join button that will appear or follow the link in the description box to learn more about membership. And I can recommend that you rewatch the previous love reading for June to get a context and this is the prediction for July. I will start reading your cards and I use the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot. When I open your deck here, I see four of pentacles with the four of cups. So this is someone that feels hurt and they also feel very stubborn. Um, they don't want to yield, uh, but they are hurting, but they don't want to yield, but they are hurting. So we'll see where it goes. <laughs> four, four, it's connected to the emperor. I want to be the leader. I want to be the special person, like the chosen one by God. I call the divine with love and light. So you can see with the seven of wands that this person puts very high uh, boundaries around them. It's very hard for people to get close to them. It's very hard for them to get close to their heart. It's very hard for them to even get to know this person, I would reckon. Or hard for you to get to know this person. But you might know them like through their soul, but you might have a little bit of questions about their, you know, personality and behavior. Behavior. I call the four archangels in the four corners of the world. So we can see that this person has locked themselves into their own prison through their stubbornness, their behavior, the refusal to yield, their refusal to see another person's point of view. They, their refusal to be vulnerable, their refusal to admit to any problem or, you know, see themselves. So I call the six elements and here we have the queen of swords together with the seven of wands. So see if you care, <laughs> you know, they can put all the boundaries they want. You can be cold as ice as well. So then you're two. <laughs> okay, doesn't bode well for the relationship, but at least it bodes well for your self-respect. So six elements, earth, wind, fire, water, spirit, and ether to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading for my dear Libra viewers. The fool. It's another state of the emperor when they, you know, forget about their stubbornness and just, you know, make a leap of faith. But we'll see where it goes with that. They can be stuck here as well, in their own shadow, in their own, you know, they have just decided that this is the way I will protect myself from getting hurt. But sometimes when we do that, we become, uh, we become the abuser, we become the person that does the ill thing, thing that we didn't want being done towards us. Uh, so it's very complicated when we get like this, because... We get blind, uh, we also get kind of very tolerant towards other people's suggestions, words, ideas, and we get, we lose our capacity to hear our own emotions and our own guidance system from the divine. So it can be a very complicated situation or the person can act like this for, you know, eons <laughs> and never decide to soften up or hear another version or maybe see that maybe there's another explanation or another way forward. So I'm going to tune in for a few seconds here to you, the person most on your mind and your relationship in July. <clears throat> this is the new bottom of the deck, King of Cups. Together with the Fool, it makes paints a picture that maybe this person's heart is starting to awaken and will, you know, eventually balance out or even, you know, weigh out <laughs> the more stubborn side. 
three of cups three of cups is when we feel this special love to uh, certain people it's so easy to be with them uh it's they are our special people they are our soul tribe we can be with them for hours we don't even have to talk it just feels nice but i guess that ended in in some way and then this person went into overdrive like their uh, survival skill techniques that they might have had from a young age um, blocking out people maybe or deciding that their way of thinking is the only way of thinking to not get hurt again so, so when we get triggered we usually have a way we react and it can be very hurt hurting for our relationships um, when we go into those old patterns because usually those patterns they were good when we were totally helpless children and couldn't uh, take authority and you know guide the way through the relationship with adult people or other children but now we are adults so when we press play we play out a immature childhood reaction um, that is trained into us and you know we use it once it kind of worked it made us feel less pain and then we use it again and again and again and it's a pattern uh, but it's not the wisest decision in the in the situation and it's not the the thing that's going to make you happy it's just a immediate reaction that makes a person feel calm because they feel like this method has saved them before closing their heart building walls or some people stomp and cry or um, other people behave in other ways it depends what they were you know what, what was their trauma and what was their survival technique but as a grown-up we can you know see the survival technique and you know decide to not use it we can use a better approach instead of growing cold on someone we can call them and say hi hey what's up why did you what what happened can you explain um, but our inner child might have ghosted that person and never talked to them again so it's a difference uh, between adult decisions and you know a child's decision that we are still you know leaning towards so this is what's on your mind with the person most on your mind this is the situation with said person this is what's on their mind with you your feelings uh, the bond between you two their feelings and this is your behaviors and attitudes the outcome for July and their behaviors and attitudes. So we start with the situation and it's the Knight of Swords. So it rather seems like the emperor here uh, stubbornly wants to come and uh, persuade you about something. Let's see, Two of Cups. You think, can't we solve this <laughs> in a nice, you know, adult mannerly fashion and this person says no you were really unfair to me or you did this or you did that and it's me that's important <laughs> no I'm just joking and uh, this is what's on their mind this is the fence you can see this is risen this is risen and you just try to love them it's very hard um, when they are cold as ice and also overreactive so both um, cold so they are not affected by empathy for example and in the same time they are uh, dramatic and over emotional themselves they don't care for other people's emotions but you know if they are triggered emotionally they will react or blow up the place or you know do something reckless or stupid or self-destructive or destructive towards you uh, something that kind of breaks delicate bonds and delicate love because some things that we do and say we can't take back and uh, this is the bond between you two nine of coins it points to a need to kind of become the teenager moving away from home and learning to be self-sufficient so you can't get love or a harmonious situation with this person uh, so better that you take care of yourself love yourself um find out ways to make you happy without them because that's your current reality that you can't be with them because they are not reasonable uh, and for them it would mean you know not deciding that everyone else is to blame but taking your own adult responsibility 
and fixing your life instead of you know blaming that it was that person did me like that and I can never forget forgive them and that's why my life is a mess that's not going to help them it's not going to help the world anyone no one is going to be happy with that decision so this is your feelings uh, ten of wands keeping it all inside yeah, it's what can you do in this situation because you love a person and they are acting a little bit like on the edge and, you know, you say something, they blow up, you try to comfort them, they take, you know, advantage of that situation and whine and cry and, you know, do reckless things even more because they see, ah, oh, you are caring. So when you care, they can use that against you by doing reckless things and see if you kind of almost take kidnap you or your, your emotions. So, so uh, and making them, making you go down that destructive road together with them. And you don't seem to think that that's a good idea. And here we have the Knight of Wands. So this person wants to engage you in this drama uh, they want to be able to have a conflict with you to, uh, you know, um, pretend that they love you and then do something that really shows the opposite. Um, these knights, and they are the hot rods, <laughs> like they are the one that's with the hair on fire. It's the one that goes to battle. It's the one that starts war or um, um, do reckless stuff that puts the whole world in jeopardy. And in this case, putting your world in, in jeopardy. Okay, so this is your behaviors and attitudes. Uh, at least you get it, okay? <laughs> you decide, okay, I love a person that's not acting lovingly towards me. So I need to contain my emotions for them. I can't show them the love and the empathy because they are just milking it. They're just uh, using this against me. And I can't be a codependent to this situation. So I need to learn to take care of myself, to override my drive, to go, go and, you know, take care of them or um, to say, I'm sorry, even if it wasn't your fault, it was definitely their fault. <laughs> and still you want to go and say that you're sorry, just to patch things up, just to make nice. Um, and this is um, how powerful people that has no empathy also are ruling the world. Uh, because um, it's like this story where the person, it's, a, it's like a planet where no one can lie. And there's the one person, probably human, <laughs> that can lie. Uh, so they use this advantage that everyone trusts each other to their, um, their benefit. And they don't care how it hurts other people or how it puts the system of love uh, in jeopardy. Uh, and I'm seeing like this person doing a little bit the same thing, probably super unconsciously. They don't know this. It's a, a childhood decision to behave like this because it gave them mess, most benefit and it helped them not feel too much pain, sorrow, um, heartbreak and, you know, trauma. <laughs> so um, and, and they just continue being this immature child with an overreaction, basically to the situation is not helpful this is their behavior queen of pentacles um i uh what i was initially going to say uh like it came to me was that they want to get into your pants <laughs> so it's not something i would use or a vocabulary that i have like an ordinary day so i think that this is what they want okay Queen of Pentacles. And then we have a Two of Swords. So I think it's a no-go with you. Um, but it's like they are entitled to have you. Either you are a friend. Then they probably don't want to get into your pants. But they still want the benefits that they had. Uh, when uh, you didn't recognize. Now you recognize. But when you didn't recognize that they were acting out a lot of bullshit in your relationship. Uh, so let's say that you often help them and walk their dog or um, go taking care of their elderly parents or, you know, call them when they're sick or coming with food to them when they are sick. They never came to f with food to you. They never walked to your dog or, you know, helped you with something that, you know, a friend or a relative needed. So they said, oh, you're going to do that boring thing. Then I won't come. Uh, <clears throat> but they still want the benefit of what they got from you, but you are clearly saying no here. 
So I want to know this person's deal. Can we clarify their opinion here with the seven of wands? Hanged one. They're ready to sacrifice anything or anyone um, to get what they want. And since they are the one that care least, it's almost like they can hold like a shotgun to someone's head and say, you care more about this baby than I do. So if you don't do what I say, I will shoot them. Uh, so it's not literally, but to see the dynamic, for example, let's say that <clears throat> you have, uh, you own a car together and this person, um, if you uh, don't do what they say, they will not care for the car or they will not be careful with the car or they will drive too fast with the car just to prove a point that I'm wild and free. And if you don't do what I say, I will make you pay um okay the magician a knight of wands they're also very charming and you know used to get their way here knight of wands queen of pentacles you're like almost their property and they are entitled to have this we can see the raised weapon again uh, both there and there uh, so uh, for this person it's like it's um the most normal thing in the world that they are entitled to get benefits from you that you are not allowed to get from them. Uh, so what's your take on this? <laughs> Death. Uh, waving the white flag kind of. Okay, so I realize I tried to make this work. I tried to love you, but you are impossible. Um, you are not even trying, you're not even, you know, you're not putting the best foot forward, you're putting your worst foot forward and, um, you know, making a mess. So uh, you're slowly realizing that you are going to have to give up on this person. So what's your reaction to them coming here trying to charm you? Nine of pentacles, <laughs> you know, you don't need that anymore. Yeah, it's cute and all when they are charming, but you know that, you know, the charm, it's trying to it's trying to paint a picture of how nice things can be if you go with them, if you accept what they are saying as truth, even if there's sweet, sweet lies in your ears. Um, you realize now that it's sweet, sweet lies in my ears, so you know it's no substance to it, so you're better off taking care of yourself here. And uh, so <clears throat> I don't see you being too bothered. Death can be a hard blow. When we need to give up our dreams, we give up our hope, uh, we give up um, the person we love uh, because they can't just behave, they can't just uh, act like a normal uh, human being. So it's probably very you know, painful <laughs> for you, but there will come a day when you will be able to love again and hopefully you have learned your lesson so you will see the red flags and not entertain a person like this if you see that they are acting like this then oh, okay see if I care you can use the same method towards them that um, drop the relationship as a hot potato the dream walker so what seems to be important for you is to wake up from the illusion that you have been painting a pretty picture on this relationship and it wasn't true at all it wasn't really you know, the truth of your situation. It's uh, something that you wanted it to be, but it wasn't like this. And, and now finally you're able to see it. So you take the necessary steps to just take care of yourself in this situation and uh, probably ditch this person in, in one way or the other. The dream walker tells you to wake up from your restless sleep in which you weren't dreaming at all. This is the time to remind yourself of your passions and the aspiration you may have left behind. Perhaps you should reconsider and allow yourself your precious dream again. Because it's like you have adapted, you probably dream of a love relationship, but you have adapted your wants and needs of love uh, to fit what this person could give you, which is barely nothing. Uh, but, uh, you know, the kind of relationship that you would want, it's time to start dreaming of that type of relationship again. There's always a way that this uh, situation can become yours as long as you don't try to dictate the form or timing. Another way that the dreamwalker challenges you is when you are in the middle of a nightmare brought on by you, you 
or by others. Wake up and don't struggle, for she reminds you that the divine will lead you out of the bad dream and into a much better one. This too shall pass. Be mindful that you have a unique and special purpose. You're always actively influencing your reality to your thoughts and reaction to life's challenges. Um, so here the life challenge is kind of saying like you thought that this person was wonderful. They aren't wonderful. Um, they are like a big cry baby that are used to getting their will through. And it's not charming. Okay. It's not a good look. And um, uh, you need to see it uh, sooner rather than later. Uh, so that you can take better care of yourself, nurture yourself back to health, you know, putting on the right kind of glasses so you know what's, you know, how a person should act and shouldn't act in a relationship because you have tolerate, tolerated far beyond what you should ever tolerate with this abusive relationship. And um, so you need to put on this you know, new, <laughs> you need to start to become aware and conscious and let your inner uh, truth and justice system start to rule and see that no, this isn't okay. And um, just ignore people that's acting like this. Don't give them your energy. This is like just closing the book or closing the chapter um, because you don't have to waste your energy on a person that behaves like this. If it's your child or, you know, your elderly parent, someone that you're responsible for, um, it's another story. You probably need to, you know, stop curling them. Uh, some tough love might be needed. <laughs> some, you know, giving them consequences for their action, being the one that has the thicker skin uh, so that you know, because they can do things towards themselves. Like, look, this is how I will hurt myself if you don't do what I want. Let them hurt themselves. Let them do that thing because they are grown up enough to take grown up decisions about their life. And it's not your fault if if they are going rampage and doing something. It can be, for example, let's say someone threatening to do something bad with their own finances or threatening to not take care of their health or threatening to drink or threatening to do this or that. It's their problem, okay? See to that as little as possible of what this person, you know, creates um, in the wake of their behavior becomes your problem, you know? See to that you are not in the fallout of this person's behavior. Free yourself from that. You know, we have enough headaches in our life than to uh, deal with headaches deliberately given to us uh, by others and their behaviors. So there's so much easier ways to be happy and I'm seeing a new beginning for you. Uh, you just need to heal yourself and come back on your feet again. Okay. So I would urge you to watch the reading. What do they want to happen between you and the love reading for June to learn more about this situation, this relationship, what you need to do and so on and so forth. If you want to see new and exclusive readings from me and watch the channel normal reading in advance and ads free, you can become an extended member to the channel. I'm also doing spiritual growth readings for all the members to the channel every week and personal questions readings for elements readings and all science readings for the full members. Subscribe and then check out the different levels through the join button that will appear or follow the link in the description box to learn more about membership. And thank you for watching. Remember to like, share and subscribe and hit the bell notification to get a heads up when a new video is out. Take really good care until next time. Stay awake, stay healthy, stay blessed. Bye for now.